Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a book haul where I show you all the books that I've acquired in the last month and a half or so. So all of the books that I am going to show you, I received from HarperCollins as advanced arcs to read and review. The first book I'll be showing you, I actually picked up when I was in the HarperCollins office getting a tour. This book is called The Speed of Falling Objects. This one is actually already released. It came out in October. This book is about a girl named Danielle who had an injury when she was younger where she lost her, one of her eyes. So essentially she had to relearn how to do everything growing up. She's that teenager that has all those regular self-doubts where she feels like she's not that athletic. She wants to be more charismatic. She wishes that she was more attractive. She's essentially just a teenager being a teenager. Her father is actually a producer of a survivalist TV show and he invites her to come along for their next filming in the Amazon. Now while she's there in the Amazon, she gets to meet the co-star on this survivalist show and his name is Gus Price and apparently he's very attractive. So Danielle starts to get feelings for him and they're in the middle of the Amazon. What more could happen? We'll have to read it to find out. This next book I'm super excited about. I actually got this one specifically by itself in a package from HarperCollins and I know a lot of people are anticipating this book. Um, I have this author already on my shelf. I haven't read the book I have on my shelf, but I know that this book is very highly anticipated and a lot of people want it. This one is Infinity Sun by Adam Silvera. Uh, it actually came with this little like thingy too that was kind of like personalized to me, a note about getting the book, so that's really cool. I'm just gonna read the synopsis on the back because it's not that long, so. It says, two brothers thrown into a war, generations in the making, between those who were born with power and those who took it. One brother has the power, the other wants it. One brother is the chosen one, the other has to make a choice. Who will live forever and who will die trying? So that sounds pretty awesome. Um, I think this is Adam Silvera's first foray into like fantasy, into that genre, because he's mainly known for like contemporary books that he's written. So I think it's gonna be really interesting to see how he handles fantasy and how um, he portrays his characters in this new genre slash setting. I am aiming to read this one most likely in the month of January. And then the next whole bundle of books were sent to me by Marisol as like uh, Christmas arcs. So it was kind of nice, it was like a little Christmas present and she sent us these cards that say Happy Holidays from HarperCollins. And then it's just got a little like note in there, but it's really cool. This bundle also came with a little notebook called Get a Life Chloe Brown. So I know this is like a new contemporary book that's out and now I got like a little notepad to go with it. So the first of this bundle was Just Breathe by Cami McGovern, I think is how you say your name. This book is about a boy named David who is the senior class president. He also has cystic fibrosis. And then there's Jamie Turner who is a quiet sophomore who is battling depression. The unlikely pair kind of soon realize that they can be the most themselves when they're with each other. And so it's kind of about their relationship budding, but then they also have secrets that are yet to be revealed, so you have to figure it out as you go. It says on the back that this book is great for people that like the book Five Feet Apart or The Fault in Our Stars, and I liked both of those books. So I feel like this book is going to fall into the category of books that I enjoy. The next one on my list is a book called Not So Pure and Simple by Lamar Giles. This one is about a boy named Dell who has a crush on a girl at his church named Kira. Now he's had this crush on, on this girl like his whole life, and pretty much every thought that goes through his head is how he's going to get the girl. Kira ends up volunteering for one of the events at the church and Del follows right behind in hopes that he will use this volunteer opportunity to get closer to Kira to start a relationship with her. Del's friend Quan doesn't believe that any girl is worth waiting this long for, but Del has his heart set on it and he's gonna go for it. But Del never really stops to think that what does Kira want? His mindset is that once he gets the girl, everything will just work itself out. I think this book will be really interesting to read because it says that it confronts societal issues and talks a lot about toxic masculinity and uh, kind of helps with the question of being a real man. 
So like, I'm, I'm really interested to read this one just on that fact alone and see how they deal with that subject in Dell's life and in his chase after Kira. This book comes out in January. The next on my list is called The Only Child by Mi A. Seo. I think is how you say that. And this one is a thriller. It's about a criminal psychologist who gets an unexpected call from a serial killer and the serial killer wants to be interviewed by them. So obviously like you're gonna take on that case because that's pretty, pretty intense. That same day, her husband's 11 year old child shows up unexpectedly at their door um, after a fire killed her grandparents who is, who she was living with. So now they have to take in this 11 year old child, but the child acts very like ominous and strangely not kind of, not really acting like normal children do. And the criminal psychologist kind of notices that as she's doing this interview and it's taking place, the child is showing similarities to what the, uh, the serial killer had gone through in their life growing up. And so she kind of is questioning whether the child murdered the grandparents and that's why she's there. I've been really craving a thriller, so I'm excited to kind of like dive into this eventually because yeah, I don't know. There's something about thrillers that just get me and like, I can't put the books down. I guess the better word is I'm so absorbed in the book that I just like, don't think about everything around me. Cause I, yeah. This book will be coming out in February. Next up is Love Boat Taipei by Abigail Hing Wen. I honestly don't know much about this book and the back of the book doesn't really give me anything. Like this is the back of the book. That's all there is. So I'll read it to you cause there's not much to say, but it says, Away from her parents for the very first time, Ever Wong is about to have a summer she'll never forget. That's literally all you know. So I'm assuming this girl goes traveling somewhere, probably meets a boy, probably falls in love, who knows? Um, but it's a big one, so I'm sure there's a lot to this story. I wish I could tell you more, but I really don't know what, there, what more there is. Um, without having reading it and finding out. This book comes out in February. The next book I received is called Red Hood by Elena Arnold. Um, this one I believe is kind of like a Little Red Riding Hood retelling where the girl is in high school and it starts out I think around her prom time. And in this case, instead of her actually being a victim of the wolf, I believe she may become a werewolf or something along those lines. There's something about her bloodline, broken boys and vicious wolves, and lots of stuff about the forest that are in this book. Yeah, and the like the end tagline of the summary, which I think is really awesome, says, about girls lost in the woods, frightened but not alone. So I feel like, I feel like she's gonna become sort of like part of like a werewolf pack or something like that. And this is the same author that wrote the book Damsel, which I know a lot of you have probably already read. I've never personally read that book, but I've, I've heard good things about that book. So knowing that, I feel like this one is going to be interesting and I think it'll be a good one. Also, this book comes out in February. The last two books on my list come out in March and these ones I'm, I think I'm most excited for. Uh, one of them's contemporary and the other one is like contemporary thriller. This first one is called We Are Totally Normal by Rahul Kanakia, I think is how you say that. This is about a boy named Nandan who is a junior in high school and everything's going pretty smoothly for him, but then he ends up hooking up with his friend Dave. And it's interesting because he's never been into guys before. So even though Nandan hasn't really been into guys, he decides to give this relationship with Dave a shot, but his anxiety builds because he doesn't really know like what his sexuality is, if he is like bisexual or pansexual or any of that. So he's kind of discovering that for himself and he's worried that if he breaks off this relationship with Dave, that things will change because Dave has been like the only person that has really ever gotten him. So it's kind of like a book of self-discovery and I think it's gonna give some good LGBTQ rep to the community. So I'm down to read this book and I'm excited to see what it has to offer. And the last book I have is called Frozen Beauty by Lexa Hillier. <laughs> I feel like I'm butchering all these author names, but I'm trying my best. So this one is a thriller. They're all trying to figure out what happened to this girl named Kit in the woods. So they, they found her body, a lacy bra and a pickup truck with the keys still in the ignition. And so everybody is trying to piece together how she got to this point and what happened to her. There are so many pieces to this puzzle and they won't stop until they find out what happened to Kit. 
I love reading books like this where it like starts off with something super jarring right at the beginning and then you have to like follow along with it and kind of like piece together what happened. So I think I'm really going to enjoy this one. And that's it for my book haul. Thank you so much to HarperCollins for sending me all these books. Like I'm super appreciative and I'm really excited to read all of these. It's always the best thing when I get mail from HarperCollins and yeah, I just like, I love working with this publisher. You know the drill guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. I post videos every Thursday and until next time, keep on reading.